Hi, I'm Kathleen Sams with Red Heart Yarns and I want to talk to you today about weaving in your ends on a knitted fabric. First we're going to start with the needles that can be used. There's a lot of different ones out here and I've got three different ones to show you. This is plastic. It comes in great colors, very flexible, easy to travel with, works great um, even for a seaming pin. Then we have our steel blunt end and then we also have another steel blunt end that has a curved tip which is also really great. I like to use the blunt end so that's what we're going to work with today and we're going to start on our stockingette fabric. Now when you're working on stockinette stitch fabric that's where you have uh, knit and purl we're going to be weaving in our ends on the back side which is of course where you see all these little seeds or bumps. Now I'm going to use a different color yarn here just to show you how easy this is to weave in your ends so they're not going to come out. Now you, you would start with the um, yarn that uh, the end that actually is attached to your piece but I'm going to use a different color just to kind of show you how this works. We're going to follow the stitches so say we're coming in here on the side we're going to pull our yarn through and then we're going to follow that stitch. You see where that bump goes? through there and then back down in to the stitch that you just pulled the yarn through. And it's almost a weaving technique. Then we're going to follow this back around again. See right here? Insert your needle into that next little bump and then back up into the stitch again. Pull. Follow this stitch around. Then back down in here. Let's just go across a few stitches. Then we come up here again. And let me just see there's that. We'll come in here. All right, now. And you can see you really can't see this even though I've used another color, you can barely see this on the other side. So as you're weaving your yarn in, it's not going to show and you should weave this across at least an inch and a half to make sure that it's going to hold. And then you just come back and like that and that will you can clip your yarn. The same thing holds true if you're using a garter stitch because it's the same type of seed so you're going to be following again. You follow the direction of your stitch to weave in. Now we have a rib stitch. So it's knit one, purl one, or two by two, which would be knit two, purl two, which is what I've done here. And what I like to do on this one, and the great thing I like about this stitch is that you, um, it's the same front and back. So you don't have a right side and a wrong side. And what I like to do is just bring this through. And then what I'll start doing is taking my needle and actually picking up the edge of the stitch like this. And you're just working it through very carefully. Pull that just a little bit, straighten it out. And then come back down this way. And then you can clip it. And that's going to hold your end in so you can't see any difference. Now the last thing, again, if you have two, three, four colors, additional colors adding on, one of the things that you're always told is never, ever, ever tie knots. Well, this is the one time where I do put uh, a loose knot or a soft knot on the end where the colors have been changed. And I do the same thing right there with, with the color that's been added. I tie a soft knot. And again, I start doing the same thing where we're going to follow the stitch, weave that in, and you're never going to see, and it comes back through this one. And you just keep weaving these across that way. And that's how simple it is to weave in your end.